Okay, this second tutorial will go through the next stage, which is the cutting list, and then what we're going to do is finalize this table here, which will then give us an overall cost of how much it, uh, it um, is to construct the toolbox. Um, so in order to fill this information out, you need to grab it from your cutting list costings. Um, so you've got the plywood cost, you've got the aluminium cost, and you've got the chain. You've also got your fasteners and fixtures, so that's your, your hinges, your handles, all the bolts that you're going to use, washers and nuts and stuff like that. Alright, so you'll use all those costs per item to then determine your overall cost. Now the only difference with the actual stock that we use is whenever you're using the plywood, we're dealing in um, square meters. Alright, because that is the reason why we're looking at the area of the stock. With the aluminium angle, because it is simply just length, it's linear meters. So that literally just means how many meters long do we need. Whereas the square meters is how much area do we need in order to make our toolbox carcass. Um, how to make the cutting list, I've got heaps of an example there for you. So if you're ever unsure, you can go back and this will help you work out the calculations. All right, but when we get to this, the first thing that you should do is just go through and get the parts and the number of those parts. So for example, we've got toolbox side. Next thing is the uh, toolbox top and bottom. Next is the toolbox ends. Okay, and we need two of them going down. The aluminium with the long edge, we're going to need four of them. And with the ends, you're going to need um, four plus you've got your vertical um, edges, so that works out to be eight. With your chain, you've got one chain and I've given you the length and you don't need the width or thickness. T-hinges, you've got two of those. Chest handles, you've got two of those. And washers, all you need to do is you need to determine how many bolts we're using and then you need to include the, um, the amount of washers that we do. Alright, so we've got, what's that, 22, 25. So for every bolt, there's going to be a washer. Alright, so I've gone through and gone down and, and highlighted all the amount of parts. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to go back to our working drawing and we need to determine what our length, width and thickness is. So if we go back all the way back up, we can go to our working drawing, we can present it to get the information. And you can see we've got 890 in length, 300 in width. For our top and bottom, we've got 890 and 276, and then that is 300 by 300. So if I go back to our table, everything's 890, the ends are 300 by 300, and that is 276. The thickness is always 12. Alright, so what you need to do in order to work out the square meters, you literally times your length with the width. Alright, so if I just go back to how to do a cutting list. So if the plywood costs $18.82 per meter squared, convert all measurements to meters. Alright, so if that's the case, if, if I'm working that out, I'm going to get my calculator and I'll go 0 0.89 times 0 0.276 and then equals. Alright, you just want to round it up so just go to, there's three decimal places there, so just go 0 0.246 and then don't forget that this is in meters squared okay so in that case that's only for one side and we need to multiply that by 2 so in order to do that I'll get my calculator back out and I'll just times that, so I'll go 0 point, hang on, 0 0.246 and then times by 2 
equals 492. Just waiting on my internet. 492. Alright, the reason being is we worked out the square meters, meters squared for one, and obviously we've got two parts. So what you need to do is once you get all that, you put in the total of, of the square meters. So all you're doing is adding up that column, and then you need to add 10% waste. Okay, so to add 10% waste, you just times it by 0.2. Uh, one. Okay, that gives us 10% on top of the amount of square meters that we have. Then all you need to do is once you get the the total square meters, including the 10% waste, you just times that by $18.82, and then you get a total cost over here. Okay, so all you need to do now is just go down and work out. So for the aluminium angle, that's going to be linear meters. So you need to revert to your linear meters here. And then you can work out your total cost by adding the waste. All these fasteners and fixtures, all you do is you need to just times it by how many there is. You don't need to worry so much about um, the width. So the width for any thread is going to be M5, which just means 5 millimeters in diameter. But you don't need to worry about the the handles or anything like that, all right, because all you're doing is you're using the stock itself. All right, so if I need one Haspen staple and it costs me a dollar per item, okay, then all you do is you go a dollar per item, I've only got one of them, it's going to cost me a dollar in that column. All right, so from there you go all the way down, then you get some costings, you'll get, you'll plus that, so that first total cost, add it on to this second total cost, add in all your fasteners and fixtures, and then you'll get a total cost for your whole project. Okay, so this will just take time, but it is very simple maths of just timesing. Work through that, 